there was a headline that caught my attention today, which I want to turn to now. It actually came in the New York Times, and this is what it said, the article, quote, how a gerontocracy explains the Matt Gates clown show. And this is part of the article, quote, along with decrepit presidents and creepy death watches around senators and Supreme Court justices, chaotic clown show debates over fiscal policy are part of what you get when a democracy becomes a gerontocracy. There is this debate Word. that is taking place right now about, <laughs> you know, the, the age of our politicians uh, all across both sides of the political aisle. But I found it interesting, when you actually listened to what Matt Gates said yesterday, whether you believe he should have done what he did or not. Let's just listen to a second for Matt Gates yesterday on the House floor. I don't think voting against Kevin McCarthy is chaos. I think 33 trillion in debt is chaos. I think that facing a $2.2 trillion annual deficit is chaos. I think that not passing single subject spending bills is chaos. I think the fact that we have been governed in this country since the mid 90s by continuing resolution and omnibus is chaos. He's basically saying we don't want to become Greece, right? And austerity. He dropped the word austerity earlier today. And going back to that New York Times headline, is he hitting at, he's 41 years old hitting at this idea of enough short-term thinking. Folks like myself have four or five decades ahead of me. Yeah, but like, I mean, I think Matt Gates is using that argument to, to further his cause. He's a showman. He's not a serious lawmaker. He's more interested. Oh, there, As you can see, the there, there, might be, there might be some showmanship. On that front. But to his point, we need to return to regular order. We need to return to the regular legislative process. To Chris's point, yes. we're electing all these folks that have no interest in doing the real work of Congress, which is 80 percent in committees with markups and, and hearings. And when you elect folks that don't fundamentally understand what Congress is there for, you're going to get folks that aren't interested in fundamentally legislating. And that's a process that we're in right now. Guys, all right. I'll tell you what. <laughs> but I think I think part of the problem is, is that if something is such a crisis, right, so we listen Listen to Congressman Gates talk about the spending crisis we have, the fiscal crisis. And at one point during his speech, he said, you know, if this country's going down, I'm going to go down fighting. Um, if something's such a crisis, then you're willing to make compromises and cut deals to cut into that problem, to tackle that problem. And what you see, uh, particularly with Republicans lately, but we've seen this on both sides of the aisle, when there are problems that they say are crises, is, well, what if we did a little bit here and I horse trade? No, 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 no. Yeah. I am not going to vote for, I'm not going to vote for something that isn't everything. What's and, the plan? And, and if it's all right. or nothing, it's hard for voters to actually believe that you believe something is a crisis. If it's, if it's a crisis, what do we all do as people? What do families do? They say, I better just do this because I've got to start to deal with this problem. That's not how Congress acts. Sherry, uh, how a gerontocracy explains the Matt Gates clown show. When you see that headline and what the, the Times was positioning today, what do you make of it? Well, I don't think it's necessarily old age that is, the, is one of the biggest problems in Washington. It's, it's really old wounds that are playing themselves out in the form of vengeance. Um, you know, we, we have seen that with Donald Trump as president, and, and God forbid is if he's elected president again, what he will do with that vengeance. Um, it is Matt Gates does not have a good relationship with Kevin McCarthy, so that plays out like this. But again, the, those of us on the receiving end of this, the American public, um, it, it is a continual deterioration of our faith in government, and we just cannot continue to go in this direction. It is, it's harmful to our nation, to our democracy. And we've got to look at some common sense solutions to getting our democracy in a better place, a couple of which I just mentioned earlier. Nan, last word to you. I would dig far more foundationally, with all respect to everyone speaking here, our nation's fundamental problem is that we have a citizenry that, by and large, is accustomed to looking to government for management of most of our lives, including pensions and benefits, things that this government by constitution was never designed to do, which means that the federal government is neglecting the responsibilities like border security, uh, like fiscal uh, soundness, that it actually should be carrying out uh, far better, but it cannot because so much is taken up in jobs that it was never designed to do. And so long as that is the case, it doesn't matter what the age of the representatives is. It matters somewhat less, frankly, whether or not districts are gerrymandered or not. 
um, until and unless we have a citizenry that says, please, government, do less for me, take less from me, and I will manage my life far better than you do, we're going to continue to see this play out, varying flavors, maybe, you know, from, from week to week or month to month. But that is the foundational problem. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.